Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Zoe and I post weekly lifestyle and motherhood related videos. So if you guys are interested in that, I would love to have you join the family. In today's video, we are actually going to be doing my 17 week pregnancy update and I seriously can't believe I'm already 17 weeks pregnant. I feel like this pregnancy has definitely gone by a lot faster than my pregnancy with Wilder. Um, I believe I'm at like the four and a half month mark, so almost halfway there, which is insane. And I just wanted to kind of talk about like my milestones, the things that I've been craving, and all that good stuff. So if you guys are interested in that, then just keep on watching. So I am 17 weeks, obviously, as you can tell by the title and what I just said, I'm 17 weeks pregnant. I am not nauseous anymore. Thank God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. I can't even express how happy I am that I am not sick anymore and that I can actually enjoy a pregnancy because the one, the pregnancy with Wilder, I just, I was so sick up until the day that I delivered. It was just... I, I tried to enjoy it as much as I could, but it was it's hard, you know, when you're throwing up constantly. The first trimester was awful, and now that I'm out of that first trimester, definitely the morning sickness has let up a lot. I mean, sometimes I'll throw up here and there, but I'm not complaining because it was awful. Um, and if you guys want, I will go ahead and do like a how to survive the first trimester because... I know I needed it and I watched a lot of those videos and maybe some of my tips can help one of you guys out there because I know that it's awful. But anyway, besides the point, I am not sick anymore and I have a lot more energy. I am how the second trimester is supposed to be, how everybody says it's supposed to be. As far as like the pregnancy glow or skin and stuff like that, I definitely don't have that and I didn't with Wilder. Um, I am breaking out a lot um, and my eyelashes are like falling out and they kind of did that with Wilder too but just like little things like that are happening and it's just crazy how much your body changes during pregnancy and I already have like a little bump as you guys can probably see. Um, I definitely am showing a lot sooner than I did with Wilder and my belly button is like about to poke out. It's not quite there, but I can definitely feel it about to be an Audi. And it's just insane. Like, I can't believe that I'm this far along already. I'm just so excited. We can't wait to meet this little baby. Um, for those of you that don't know, we aren't finding out the gender this time around. So we're super excited. I did the Harmony test, and which those of you that don't know, it's like a blood test that tests for... Um, chromosome disorders and you can also test for the gender like spinal there's like a spinal disorder um just stuff like that so we did the harmony test with wilder and we found out around i want to say 11 or 12 weeks so we found out pretty early and then this time around i um they asked me if i wanted to do the harmony test and of course we didn't want to know the gender so we're like yeah we'll do the test but we don't want to know the gender and they kept teasing they're like are you sure are you sure you don't want to know the gender and I got the test results back at like 10 weeks which is super early I could have found out so long ago but I I was looking on the like patient portal and I was like oh my gosh I can know the gender right now but I know it's gonna be so surprising and so worth it and there's not many surprises like this left in life so Garrick and I are absolutely super excited. Oh, I wanted to touch base on vaginal or C-section. So I was going, I had my heart set on a V-back. I've spoke with several different doctors and I just have contradictions that go against me. Everyone has just told me that it's safer to, to do a C-section basically. And I'm going to listen to them. I mean, I've done my own research as well and I, I, I want to try but I don't want to put my baby at risk and I don't want to put me at risk and regardless I need to have a good delivery whether that is a vaginal birth or a c-section I just I need to have a good experience I believe that this way is a good way to go Garrick and I actually had our appointment um, our 17 week appointment a few days ago and um, we met with a surgeon and he is so wonderful he is just super down to earth and Garrick and I from the moment that he walked in were like yes like this is the one like this is 
this is the doctor, this is who we're meant to be with. I prayed about it and I just know in my heart like this is the right thing to do. However, I would very much like a vaginal birth and I am upset. I am going to be stripped of that experience but that's just life and regardless, I'm just happy for a healthy baby. But anyways, we met with a surgeon and he is so wonderful and we talked about, you know, we didn't want to find out the gender and right off the bat he was like, okay, well dad, you're going to go ahead and announce the gender whenever baby pops out, you're going to look over it and you go ahead and announce it. So we just can't wait for that moment. I'm getting like goosebumps thinking about it. I just can't wait for that moment and being able to know if it's a boy or a girl. Like I mentioned in my last video, we do believe that it is a boy. I don't know what it is, but I've had dreams about it and I just... I don't know I feel I just feel that he is a boy I always call him a he because I'm just used to that with Wilder but anyways as far as um, pregnancy weight so pre-pregnancy I was 115 pounds and now I am at 125 that's what their scale said a few days ago so I'm at about 10 pounds I've gained so that's all right and as far as cravings I am craving everything sweet and also chocolate. I really love white chocolate and Garrick makes fun of me all the time. He's like, you never want to eat white chocolate whenever I want it, <laughs> like before pregnancy and now I, I literally crave it. In the middle of the night, right whenever I wake up, I crave it. I probably have, yeah, I have some right here. This is the kind that I get. I always have to have this and I, they only carry it at like Publix around my area so Garrett's always like do you need me to go to Publix he is so sweet that's another thing I wanted I wanted to talk about because I want to remember this Garrick has been the best husband ever and I can't thank him enough for that especially during my first trimester he oh my gosh I couldn't do laundry I couldn't pick up the house I couldn't do the dishes I like everything that I'm so used to doing that I, I love doing and staying on top of Laundry was piled up. Garrick works a lot of hours, so he would come home, kind of pick up, you know, take care of me at the same time, take care of Wilder at the same time. So it was just a lot in the first trimester, and I'm just so glad that that is over with. Another thing is ice chips. I have been craving ice chips a lot, and I did with Wilder. I would go to Sonic literally every single day and get an extra large cup of ice because I really like their crushed ice. Um, let's see, tacos, I really like tacos right now, but mainly just sweets, like I, I'm really into sweets right now, I don't, I don't know what it is, I've never really been like a, a sweets type of girl, but pregnancy does suck to you, it's weird. Whenever we just went to the recent doctor's appointment, they used the fetal Doppler and his heart, his, see I keep saying he because I think that it's a boy, but the heart rate was 150, so I believe the wild wives' tales say that if it's like 150 or below, it's a boy, or and then above that would be a girl. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's some something like that. So as far as stretch marks go, I have gotten a few more just on my hips, and that's really where I got them with Wilder also, so I kind of expected that. I do put coconut oil on. Um, every day whenever I shower so I don't know I don't really care honestly if I get stretch marks or not but yes I do have them kind of on both sides of my hips and sleeping wise I cannot get comfortable already I swear it's one thing after the other so you guys knew that we were co-sleeping with Wilder and now he's fully transitioned into his room into his own crib and sleeping like 12 hours during the night and now I can't get any sleep because I cannot get comfortable already. I remember this with Wilder, um, you know, kind of later on in the pregnancy I couldn't get comfortable, but it's happening already and I'm like, dear lord, please, I gotta sleep. So I have a pregnancy pillow and I have been using it here and there, but it doesn't really help much for me, honestly, so... I don't know why you're going to have to figure something out. I think a lot of that has to do with my boobs are really tender and sore right now. And 
I have, like everywhere that I lay, it's just uncomfortable. So that's another thing. Boobs are very, very, very sore and I haven't been leaking or anything like that. I did early on with Wilder, but I haven't yet. Um, I'm kind of hoping that I do because I've heard that that's obviously like a sign that your milk is coming in and I do plan on breastfeeding as soon as possible. That's another thing that I wanted to tell you guys about with a C-section. So with our doctor, um, he told us about a gentle cesarean, which I've already looked up, but he went ahead and told us, you know, because he knew my feelings about having a C-section and I'm scared and you know, every, all the factors. And he was just like, you know, we do have gentle cesarean. And Derek was like, okay, well, what is that? Basically, he said that it would be more natural, if you will. Derek obviously would be able to cut the cord because he wasn't able to last time for whatever reason. But, um, so Garrick would absolutely be able to cut the cord. Um, it would be super, like, way more relaxed, not rushed. Um, there wouldn't be as much tugging and pulling because he would do it like a certain way. I don't know exactly how he explained that, but he also said we could have a clear drape so I could be able to, you know, see the baby whenever he or she came out. He just said that it would be way more relaxed and calm. I'd be able to do skin to skin right away because um, I wasn't able to do that with Wilder either. And every he just mentioned all these things that may, make me so happy. And I'm just so excited for that day. Like, I, I literally can't believe it. I believe he said, so my due date is on the January the 19th. So he said they schedule um, cesareans a week before. So I believe it would be like that 12th or 13th, somewhere around there. I'm so excited. I can't wait to have another newborn. I can't wait for Wilder to have to have a sibling. It's going to be chaotic, but it's going to be so wonderful. I am at the beginning stages of heartburn and uh, that does suck. But again, it's another thing that comes along with pregnancy. I'm just going to have to deal with it. But I did never know what heartburn was until pregnancy. So it's a new thing for me. And every time I feel it, I'm like, oh my love. Also, I think I'm nesting already. And this is really early to be nesting, but I've literally cleaned everything a million times. There's still so much on my list that I need to do that I think I'm going to get done today, hopefully. You guys know how it is having a little baby running around. Wilder is 10 months old and just runs around all over the house and it's hard to get much done. But I have been getting up at like 6 a.m. starting and cleaning and I can't wait to get the baby's, the baby's room done, his crib put up and just his whole room done. I can't wait for that. We've been meaning to do that. But I know it's early but... We're just so excited, so I'll shut up now. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my 17 week bump belly shot. So I think that is all for my 17 week update. I can't believe I'm already 17 weeks as I've probably already said that a million times. But if you guys are interested in more pregnancy updates, pregnancy vlogs, and pretty much everything in between, just stay tuned because we are going to be posting a lot more frequently. So yeah, if you guys want to join the journey, please go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and if you like this video, please go ahead and hit that like button, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.